Hey there and welcome back to the video series. So we created the product migration in the previous video and now it's time to create the controller because we need some controller to handle all the product CRUD operations here. And uh, the way we do this is that we have also a PHP artition command to do this. Uh, so we can do PHP artisan and then we can issue uh, make controller, call it product controller. Whoop. And if we specify the resource flag here, uh, Laravel is going to create all the required CRUD operations for us automatically. Uh, so it's going to create all the boilerplate code for showing a product and updating a product and deleting a product, so on and so forth. So that's really handy. And we also we also need to have a model because we use MVC. So we're creating a controller here. We also will create a view for this. So we also need to have a model that can uh, work inside Laravel for the product. And the way we do this is that we just specify the model flag and then equals the name of the model. So that is all in one command here. We will make a controller and also a model. So let's issue this one here. It says uh, that uh, the model does not exist. You want to generate it. We just say yes. That is nice. And uh, Laravel tells us that it has created both. And if we go to app, we can see that in HTTP controllers, we got the product controller here. And if we minimize the terminal, we can see that we have all the boilerplate code here for the various CRUD operations that we have, right? So that has been generated all for us we can just create the write the code that we need in each function here and link this up to a view so that will complete the application okay right so this is really handy and uh, now we have the product controller but we can see that uh, in our app nothing really happened here and we want something like this so we can specify products and that should show all the different products in the database. And we can see right now, 404, uh, not found. So Laravel does not know what to do with this route here. And the way we can do this is we go to, let's just collapse some of these directories here. We can see it is opinionated right here because we have all these different directories. So we go to routes and web. And we can see that we got the basic route here. We got the uh, route that will take us to the welcome blade view, right? So we need to make a new route and we're just going to specify it as a resource route. And that will indicate to Laravel that it will be all the CRUD operations. So it's going to be create and also update, delete and all these but just in one line. Okay, so it's, it's kind of a shortcut to tell Laravel that we need all the CRUD operation routes. And what should the resource route be? It should be products. So this will enable us to write products up here. And then we're going to specify what controller should handle it when you enter this route. So we're just going to specify the product controller. And we can see that, uh, oh, I just missed a class definition here. So we can see that when I wrote product controller, uh, VS Code automatically imported the controller in our imports up here. And if it doesn't, you should, uh, you can add it manually if you want to do this. So it specifies app and then HTTP controllers and then product controllers. Okay, so if we go now to our front end and see what happens if we write this, we can see that it changes. Okay, so something works now, but we haven't created any of the views. And that is because if we visit the controller, we have made all the boilerplate code for the different operations, but nothing happens. So this is why it just turns out white here. We need to write some code and we also need to write the, uh, the views in the resources that will be uh, coupled together to work. Okay, so I think this is enough for this video. So we've created a controller and a model. We also hooked it up into a resource route in Laravel. Whoop. Okay, I hope you make this work and have fun with this. Bye-bye.